Hey gang, Melissa here, and here it is. The Henry Bendel Birthday Bender. Say it five times really fast. Bet you probably can because it's not that difficult. But um, several of you have been waiting for this uh, in mentioning it, like, hey, when is it coming? And when I say several of you, I mean about four, three or four, really. But, um, but nevertheless, it is here. Um, I got... I got some stuff uh, from Henry Bendel while in Chicago and uh, so it's kind of part two of the Chicago haul. If you didn't see the first part I'll link it. Um, that was all makeup and uh, makeup, pretty much makeup. And um, and then this is just, I felt like it needed a video of its own because uh, it's excessive and ridiculous. But let me first say that um, this was my birthday present because um, <laughs> There's no way my husband was buying me anything for my birthday after he found out I got this. So I had never even heard of Henry Bendel until um, Anna from Cosmo Electra, and I'll link her channel. She's gorgeous, and she does videos too, beauty videos, and she, um, I follow her on Twitter. And so she tweeted a picture one night, and it, uh, and, and it had a bunch of the bangles stacked. And it said Henry Bendel. And I was like, what the, what the hell is Henry Bendel? So I got on the internet and started looking around. And I'm like, wow, some cute stuff there. So while we were in Chicago, um, someone mentioned that they had a Henry Bendel store. So I was like, oh, I just want to go check it out. You know, no big deal. So uh, we get to the Henry Bendel store. And <laughs> I know how dumb this is going to sound. But like the doors open and we go in. And I swear I had butterflies in my stomach. I just had that like, like I, it was just overwhelm, sensory overload of so many cute things that I just wanted to go bananas on, and 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 I did, but um, yeah. So uh, this is it, and um, I guess what am I gonna start with? We'll start. I'm not gonna start in the order that I purchased, but okay. And, and keep in mind, like you're seeing these separately, but they're meant to stack. I guess you could wear them separately, but they're meant to stack and uh, wear with other ones and watches and whatnot. So uh, normally I'm, I'm all about um, silver, white gold, platinum, whatever, but gold is making a comeback. So I did pick up this little chunky gold chain and obviously it's not real, it's costume jewelry, but it's higher end costume jewelry. And, uh, but that's it and I love the clasp. Look at that, it's got a little fake diamond, faux diamond. And then even just a little detailing, like, look, there's a little bitty stone there and there. And um, I, I, it's chunky, it's cute, and, and like I said, I love the clasp and the detailing on it. So that was the first thing. Whatever, the first thing I'm going to show you. So, next, um, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Next is this, and you can still, <laughs> I might need to take the price tags off at some point. <sighs> um, uh, it's silver, and then it's got the little gold Henry Bendel thing things there with, um, you know, little itty bitty stones. And that goes all the way around. Let me tell you about how these open. And uh, <laughs> if I can. Oh my god. Crap. Maybe I should have somebody who knows how to open them, tell you how it opens. Um, I'll show you on a different bracelet. But the point is, is that, you know, so if you're going for that layered look, you could stack those together and that's cute. See, see, cute, cute. All right, and then plus you're getting to mix your silver and your gold together. Because I'm not gonna wear all gold and I'm obviously not gonna wear all silver or whatnot and um, I love mixing metals. Love it, love it. I hope it doesn't ever go out of style. It, it concerns me a little bit. All right, but. so this one, um, again, the price tag's on there. Sorry. Uh, this one is just a smoky, quartzy, which fades into lighter stones all the way around. And there's that, what that looks like. And then here's how the opening. Oh, I got it. I got it. I, everybody? I got it. Okay. So you push down like that, and then it pulls apart. Yeah down okay yeah like well, okay so you're pushing down wait a minute oh okay okay oh my god oh my god this is so bad 
right. There, yeah, yes, like that. Okay, so that's how you open it. Um, and just to backtrack a little bit, uh, really? Uh, apparently, I'm never going to be able to wear this um, because I don't know how to open it. And I had this problem at the store. I did. The lady was like, oh, no, here, I'll show you. And then she had to show me like 15 different times. And I get the concept. I just don't know. Like, I can't. I don't. Ah. No, still no. Um, I'm having issues. I, I will get it. I will figure it out. Or it will be a bracelet for Sophie. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm going to show you this one. But this one I bought specifically to go with the uh, last bangle I'm going to show you. Because then I have a ring, too. And, um... I, I got, I got it to go together, so keep that in mind when I show you this. It's color Tuxedo Line, and it's purple all the way around, and then it's got, you know, the little purple stones there and gold, and uh, much preferring the way that uh, these open, because it's a lot less challenging. Just pop. See? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice and simple? Yes, it is. But again, you know, uh, feel free. You, you stack however you want to or not. And uh, yeah, so this was so bought to go with the next one I'm going to show you. And I fell in love with this one the second I saw it. Okay, not fell in love. I know that's overused. I get that it's overused. The point is, it was one of those I saw it and I was like, I'm not leaving the store without it. I'm not going home without it. And I didn't. So, okay. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. This one is a little bit easier to open. See? down out see because i think the other one's faulty i don't know but look um yeah i it deserves a moment of silence it deserves so, a yeah, moment of silence this is the last of the bangles and bracelets that i picked up and so that's what that looks like together and i really liked it very much you know you throw whatever However, so last, but definitely not least, because it actually was the first thing that I had picked up and, um, or put in the basket of crap I got. I don't know. But uh, I did not fall into this one by myself. Lipstick Vanessa and Shani Banny both ended up getting one of these rings also. I think maybe a different style, all clear, all clear um, stones instead of colored. But uh, I can't put it on the finger it's supposed to be on because I'm a little swollen right now. But uh, here it is. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's thick. It's chunky. Um, and then it's held together by a, a pin there. And it's not removable. I mean, it'll go like this. But it's not, it's not a removable pin. But that's the first thing that I had fallen in love with. And then when I'm not so swollen, it'd go there. Because I have big man hands, so I deserve big chunky jewelry. Um, so Vanessa got one and Shana got one and we were checking out and they were like, don't get these wet because there's something that they either are or are not coated in that if they get wet, it'll, um, it'll basically tarnish, which I know is kind of crazy because as much as this costume jewelry is, you would think it w they would do something so that it wouldn't tarnish. So we're like, okay, you know, you know, make sure don't get it wet. You take it off your hand if you're washing your hands or something. So the next day, was it the next day or two days? I want to see what's the next day. Shani calls and says, um, you're not going to believe this. This ring turned my finger green. And I was like, did you get it wet? Did you wash it? And she's like, no. She's like, but my finger is green. And like, she showed a picture. I don't, I don't remember if she tweeted it or just sent it to us. But sure enough, it was green. And um, so got a hold of Vanessa. And Vanessa's like, no, you know, there's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong. So um, I come to the conclusion that Shani's fingers are Faulty or really dirty. I don't know. Dirty? No. I'm kidding, Shani. Not dirty. They're not. So I get all these goodies home, and I was excited. You know, I got home from Chicago, and my husband's like, all right, let's see everything you got. Let's see it. Because he knew that I had spent an absurd amount of money. But I'm like, it, it, it was a special trip, and it was for my birthday, too. So, but he's like, all right, let's go through it. So I'm showing him the jewelry, and he's like, yay, meh. You know, makeup, and he's like, I mean, I will say this. He's very sweet. He sits there, and he looks, and he watches, and, and he pretends to be interested even if he's not. So I'm very thankful for that. But I get you this bracelet right here, and he goes, what the hell is that? 
He's like, what kind of Star Trek looking, beam me up Scotty, is that thing that you are holding? And I was like, what? And then I started looking at it, and I was like, son of a, because I see where he's coming from with it. But I still love it, I don't regret it, but I will never be able to wear this bracelet without thinking about Star Trek and who oh, will kind of beam me up, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, uh-huh. Look at that. I, I know. I know. So but that is the Henry Bundle Hall. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to comment, ask questions if you like. Uh, I appreciate you being here. I would love it if you would subscribe, but if you don't want to, that's cool too. Just check back in, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.